This wedge has definitely changed my mind from the first time that we saw it. We are, of course, talking about the cutter wedge. It has made it into my bag. I have used it for a whole season. Let's talk about the cutter wedge. Well, it was about a year ago, August 2020, Dickie Walsh from Cutter Golf, the CEO, the inventor of Cutter Golf, got in contact with us here at PGA Life 365 and wanted to send us one of his wedges to review, to trial, to demo. He'd seen our stuff, he enjoyed our content and wanted us to give the product a good review. So Adam and I tested it out. We tested it on all sorts of situations, different lies, long grass bunkers, and we were blown away with how good this wedge was. So good that we got in contact with Dickie, we formed a collaboration. We are working in conjunction with Cutter Golf we have the demo products if you ever want to come down and try the demo wedges. If you're from Berry Edmonds, if you're in Suffolk, if you're in England, get in touch with us. Get one of these wedges in your hand and try them out for yourself. Like I say, this club has been in my bag for a year. I got a left-handed version sent across to me, 58 degree, eight degree bounce. It has been my lob wedge for the past season and I have loved it. Well, what are the benefits of the cutter wedge? Why should it go into your bag? So first of all is that wide, massive club face. When you put this club down behind the ball, it sits square and there is so much club face. It gives you so much confidence, especially from long grass, bunker shots. Just seeing all that club face to hit is fantastic. There's definitely been a trend in golf equipment over the past few years to make those high toe wedges. This takes it to the extreme with that high heel option as well. So as you frame the club down by the ball, it looks huge. We also have to talk about the back of the golf club. So that huge cavity back, just taking that weight to the perimeters of the golf club. So through that long grass, through those bunker shots, through the impact zone of the shot, you are getting that ultimate stability and the ball just comes out straight. You don't feel like the club twists as it goes through the long grass or the sand and the ball comes out exactly where you've got the club face pointing. In terms of my bag setup, I have the 58 degree loft, eight degree bounce option in the cutter. It sits at the bottom edge of my bag. It is the lob wedge, that high soft landing shot that I can hit from a variety of different lies. It isn't the most spinning golf club in the world. There are models and products out there that spin the ball more, but once you know that it's gonna come out high, it's gonna land softly, it doesn't race away from you when it does land on the green, you can actually allow for that nice controlled rollout. And it really is quite nice to see a ball just rolling softly towards that golf hole, giving you a chance to hole some pitch shots. There are of course a lot of options when it comes to wedges and I've used them all over the years, the Glides, the Vokies, the Mizuno options, the Clevelands. This is definitely one that has to be a contender, it has to be in that mix. If you're not trying this product out, you're not giving it a fair chance. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It will get the ball to come out high, land soft, and get yourself out of those troublesome situations. It definitely has to be in the mix when you're looking at your next wedges. After the initial review of the product and the testing we got in contact with Dickie, he sent me a left-handed option. I have extended the shaft, put my favorite grip size onto it, and it's made its way into my bag, and it will not be leaving my bag. From those 50, 60 yards and in, when you have to come out of long grass, when you have to come out of bunker shots, I don't look at anything else now. It is my go-to club. I've had some really good success with it over the last year. I've had it in a professional tournament. I was super excited to play in a professional event, left-handed first of all, and possibly the first professional golfer to put a cutter wedge in play in a tournament. Super proud of that. And I've had some great results with it. I've hold bunker shots, I've hold pitch shots. I lipped out twice in that professional event when I was short-sided and had to hit a pitch shot over a bunker. And it really helps me to save par, keep those scores down when I do err uh, away from the green with my approach shots. I have, like I say, made it my own, made it a little bit longer, put my favorite grip on it, but it is definitely in my bag to stay. 
One of the things that I wanted to do with Project Left when I wanted to learn left-handed was to hit that very straight, safe, square pitch shot to be able to aim at the flag or at the point in the green that I wanted to land the ball before taking into account any break. And I didn't really have that right-handed. I grew up in the aim left with your feet, point the club face to the right, hit across the ball, flop shot, type scenarios that was certainly how I played my bunker shots and when I learned to play left-handed this was one of the things that I wanted to do to be able to hit that straight square pitch shot and bunker shot and this club because it is so forgiving because it does stay so stable through the hitting area it's allowed me to achieve that. If you want to get your hands on one of these cutter wedges, you can do that at playcutter.uk. And if you enter the promo code PGA Life, you get a special discount on these wedges for just £99. Now, in terms of product options, you've got 52, 56, and 58 degree options. You've got different length options. And of course, it comes in both left and right handed. So there is really no excuse not to give this club a fair chance. Like I say, if you want to get one of these clubs, in your hand you can do there is a money back guarantee if you buy the product and you don't like it but i convinced that if you try this product if you give it a fair chance it will stay in your bag for a very long time well there we have it those are my thoughts from a year of using the cutter wedge i definitely definitely suggest you give it a try have it as an option when you're next in the market for wedges I've put it in my bag, it is there to stay. Whether I pitch left or right-handed in the future, one of these wedges, probably the lob wedge, will always be in my bag. If you're new here to PJ Life 365 and you have enjoyed this video, why not think about clicking that subscribe button, like the video, share it around with your friends who have their wedge issues, and we'll see you down here on the channel next time. Bye-bye.